map is a state geological map from 1978, I think it is, which was actually a compilation of maps that were even older, probably, uh, from the early 70s, most of the individual quadrangle maps of the geology. And the state uh, geological survey closed about uh, five years ago. So there are uh, maps that are based, that are a little more detailed than this. This is um, fairly general, but there's a lot of things that really have still never been mapped in detail in um, Georgia, particularly in the coastal part. And you can see they um, assign the rocks to periods of the time scale, or both the epochs of the time scale, actually, epochs of the Cenozoic um, in the time scale. But um, not, it, not the whole area that we're in in Lowndes County, up um, what's, what's called the Middle Coastal Plain, um, it's all just grouped together in this thing called Neogene. And, um, we're, we'll see, there is a really good geology map uh, right here for Lowndes County in Valdosta, so we're lucky in that respect. And so that, uh, that peak area that says Eocene is important because those are um, the rocks that are, um, that are holding a lot of the groundwater that's called the upper floor and the upper floor, and they go underneath uh, the land here and then come back up to the surface down in Florida. So it's kind of like there's a, a connection uh, under, underground all the way from the coast, the fall line um, down to Florida and then it probably goes all the way up into South Carolina. A uh, very gradual uh, movement of the water. It moves very slowly in, in, uh, for the most part in, in the underground uh, groundwater. Above, at the surface here, we have rocks that are younger than the, the rocks that hold the groundwater that are mostly Miocene, and they're mostly clay, and so forth, so we'll talk about those. So we're in an area that's called a covered karst area because we have this clay, Miocene clay, on top of the uh, limestone that's mostly Eocene that has the groundwater. And another way, of, as it says, covered karst, there, that extends into Florida, uh, in, in northern Florida. You also have the same basic geology you have. Uh, at the surface, the, the, there's not a lot of sinkholes, but as soon as you drop off of the clay onto the limestone, then you start to see the sinkholes. And um, that, that boundary between where it's covered by the, the, the clay and the Miocene uh, material and the uh, place where the, the, the limestone starts appearing at the surface, we call the Cody Scarp, the Cody Scarp. It's, a lot of times you think of a scarp as it's basically a cliff, you know, uh, like, kind of like fall line places is basically a cliff. If you go out at Columbus or Macon, those kinds of features are pretty predominant or pronounced. But the Cody Escarpment, um, this is a diagram of it in a soil, uh, soil uh, survey for a county in Florida. And we would like to think it looks like that. If you took all the trees off, then there's a, a single pronounced straight line start. But because it's being formed by the uh, surface water dissolving limestone, and, uh, and the, the streams are getting uh, that water as the, from the, the, and the sinkholes are disappearing through it, it's pretty irregular. It's not very straight line. It's kind of weedy, wavy. Um, Boundary, that, but that's referred to as the Cody Scarp. And um, in Florida, they call the area with all the sinkholes that south of it the Woodville Park Plain. Um, and there are a lot of springs also that you can go to there, places where the water goes into the sinkholes or it comes back up in um, springs. Tallahassee is in this area called Red Hills, and so it has some of the highest topography and um, actually higher elevations in places than, than Valdosta and it's capped by uh, a lot of Miocene uh, material. 